Okay, I don't think acrobatic finishing on the lick is going to be much use. Uh, let's start off. So two Barcelona players. So Sergio Roberto, box to box. Um, decent ball control, decent tight possession. That's enough uh, for the position. Good low pass, low kick and power. Pass won't feel that great. Uh, okay speed, you know, okay physical, so okay defending. Medium weak foot. And then his skills, he doesn't have interception. He does have true passing and weighted pass in one touch, so that won't be bad. And pinpoint crossing. Locker, super sub. Look, without interception, it's it's just there's no there's no point. If he had interception, this this would be actually all right. Uh, box to box super sub, but he's gonna be a liability in defense without it. Uh, Furman whole player. Look at those uh dribbling stats. Those actually look pretty promising. Um, okay, so his dribbling stats are good. Eighty nine low pass with eighty five kick and power. Okay, Konami. We might be cooking here. He looks like a decent so far. Uh, 80 finishing and 85 kick compare again so yeah and it'll be plus 2 on all these in game so 92 ball control 92 tight possession 91 low pass 87 kick compare uh, his finishing look good he can play centre mid AMF left mid and left wing he's got 70 defensive engagement so I said in my pre pre uh, excuse me I said in my player of the week video uh, what player was it it was I think it was Musiala he had 72 defensive engagement I think so I said 70 is the level Um. I've noticed for left mids where if they have that defensive engagement, they still track back very well. So if this guy even playing on left mid, he'll be uh you know obviously amazing attacking, but you'll still help out in defense. Um. Uh, what else? So good balance, eighty four, eighty six. Sorry, be eighty six. Uh, it's okay. Uh, eighty five acceleration, eighty four speed. So he won't be blistering fast, but uh, he'll be fast enough. Um. His physical contact isn't too bad. If they get him an extra two, same with the jump, and you know you'd notice it. But uh, it might be just below that threshold where you start noticing it. Um, oh, back to the defending actually. Seventy aggression. He means that when he does tackle, he'll uh, be a bit fast in it. So the, the and the high weak foot, um, you know, makes him makes him decent. All right, let's check the skills now. The skills are what makes or break him. So look at the stats. He looks good, but the skills uh, are important. All right, scissors paint is good. Cut behind turn is good. Soul control is good. Rising shot. Is a good skill, but I don't think he'd have the uh, stats for it. I think he'd need a bit more finishing for it to be uh, properly effective. Uh, he's got first time shot, one touch passing, true passing, gamesmanship, and track back. Okay, so he's missing a double touch. Um, yeah, he's missing double touch. Not a major issue for me. I can use my left stick dribbling uh, just fine. But you know, if you're if you're not if you're more reliant on the double touch, that might be an issue. Um. Although it might be a good opportunity though, if if you're someone who's reliant on double touch and you get this guy and you want to use him, try the scissors paint. The scissors paint, honestly, if I had to remove one skill, uh, or sorry, if I had to keep one skill, but I'd rather keep double touch or scissors slash body feints, I'd I'd keep the feints. I think they're way more effective and worse. Though. Obviously, double touch can get you out know, of sticky situations, but uh, the ninety minutes of the game, I think uh, feints are more effective. So uh, yeah, he's he's not too bad. Uh, this guy it looks at. Uh, Looks decent, all right. All right, uh, Witzel didn't even know he still played, and uh, he's got decent stats. Um, so he's a ball, he's a ball playing uh centre back. Although he can play centre mid DMF, so maybe uh, you're probably maybe you're not gonna play him uh centre back. But uh, yeah, decent uh, these actually for a centre back, very good dribbling for a DMF. These uh, probably about decent, and for a centre mid, you know, slightly below average. So the further up you put him, the le less uh effective his dribbling will be. Uh, same with his passing. His passing uh, for centre back is really, really good. Most centre backs actually only have like the ball playing centre backs usually only have about that level of passing. Uh, DMFs usually have better, and same with centre mids. So his passing um isn't uh looking too amazing outside the centre back. Um, no finishing or curl, but uh, just I don't think the finishing is an issue. I don't think you'll be playing them uh high up the pitch in terms of his defensive stats he's got good awareness and tackling and aggression and then low defensive engagement all right so everything about this card is telling me play him center back um in my training guide video i mentioned this um so all the defensive stats are important obviously um the defensive engagement though for cent like if it, it, it probably goes like the player's set, uh, defensive engagement is least effective for the center backs and dmf because they should always be in the defensive position already because defensive engagement tells your player how willing are you to how willing are you to get back and defend so 
and it's kind of it's compared against their stamina. So if you have high defensive engagement and low stamina, uh, the high defensive engagement will your player will still track back. So his his the way his card is built is telling me, and you know he is a centre back, but it's telling me he should play him centre back. Um, only play him DMF or centre mid probably if it's late on in a game and you decide to bring him off the bench and you're trying to you know park the bus. Um, in terms of his physicals, uh, he'll have seventy one speed, so he'll be. F- Probably fine. I don't think you need speed in centre backs. Seventy ones enough. Uh, his acceleration is a bit low. If you could have an extra four or five acceleration though, uh, that'd be good. Decent kick and power, so his passes will be good. Good jumping, great physicals. Actually, we'll say we'll say good physical contact. Uh, ninety plus is great. Uh, so he'll have seventy balance, so he'll be he. You know what? He might actually be very very good ball playing centre back. We'll look at his uh. We'll look at his uh, skills. So he's got rising shot. Uh, fifty nine finishing. Don't even worry about it. And no long range shooting. Don't worry about it. Heel trick on a centre back. I've considered it before. I don't know if I've ever done it. Um, I don't think it'd be too effective. One touch pass would be a lot more effective. And he has weighted pass. Uh, so he'll be good at those lofted passes to your winger from your centre back. Uh, man marking, interception, blocker, aerial spirit, slide tackle, and fighting spirit. So yeah, he actually he looks very good. Um, the only thing he's missing is true passing. Uh. But the weight pass will kind of uh will kind of mask that lack of true pass in a good bit. Um so yeah, he he actually looks decent. I uh, I wouldn't mind getting him. Um Memphis to Pi, uh I'm not the biggest fan of him in the game. Not that I have anything against him, it's just it doesn't really seem too amazing. Uh his card does look very well well rounded, but not excelling at anything in particular. Although his finishing his finishing is quite high. So his dribbling stats, so remember, plus two on all these stats in-game. So I have 87 ball control, 85 dribbling, 84 tight possession. So, you know, that's actually decent. He'll have good passing for a striker. We're going to check in a sec if he has true passing. Um, he'll have 89 finishing, 83 curl, and then 87 kick and power. So, yeah, his, his, uh, his shooting stats are good. Uh, for a centre forward, I think cur- curl, the higher curls are more effective the further away you are from the goal. So 83 curl will be fine. Most, uh, I mentioned it in my... When I was talking about Leon in the last video, um, most of the top strikers actually don't have high curl. They just have the high kick and power and finishing. So he actually has a uh, better curl than a lot of the top tier strikers. In terms of his pace, um, not amazing. Uh, he's got decent uh, acceleration, eh, speed. Like he, for the type of player he is, he's a bit short. He'd probably want more speed. Uh, seventy one jumping and eighty one physical. So he should feel a bit physical. Like he shouldn't be knocked off the ball too easy. And then he has balance at uh, 81. So if he has fighting spirit, he won't really get knocked off the ball a lot. And he doesn't. So I, I'm not sure how his, uh, you know, in terms of uh, shrugging off defenders would be. If he had fighting spirit, I'd be kind of confident he'd be good. But uh, yeah. So he has double touch, soul control, and long range curler. So that's a good combo. So his knock on finesses will be very good. I think he has kind of special animations for his uh, finesse shots. So some players like. Uh, obviously the top players like Messi have like a different kind of finesse shot. Uh, Kubo is one of them. And actually, in today's update, uh, if you haven't checked out my patch notes update, they've updated just Kubo's animations. Don't know why. But even before they done that, Kubo had kind of custom finesse shots, and so did Kulusevski. So it's not even just high rated players. Like, um, some of the low rated players have it too. So uh, the pie is one of them, I believe. Uh, chip shot control. Not too fussed about that. Long range shooting with the kick and power will be good. First time shot, good. Rabona, um, I'm not the biggest fan. I usually only do it for uh, fake shots. Penalty specialist, captaincy, and super sub. Okay, so if he's a super sub, it kind of changes everything a little bit because you give a little bit extra to each stat. He'll get over 90 finishing and kick and power. Um, probably like not, if, if he's a super sub, couple with form over 90 um, ball control. Yeah, not too bad. The only thing is he doesn't have true passing and he doesn't have acrobatic finishing. He'd probably be, be fine without true passing, but the acrobatic finishing I think is really important. So uh it's a shame on that regard, but honestly, he does look pretty good and he has high weak foot. Yeah, so honestly, uh if you like the pie in real life, you'll probably like this card in game. Uh David Rea, uh good reflexes and reach and decent awareness. 70 jumping and 183 centimeters. Okay, so the, the the goalkeeper stats are good. It's just he's not that uh, tall. Uh, I was about to say hi. Oh, no, no, actually, he has a booster. So um, with the booster, he'll have 96 reflexes, 94 reach, and 92 awareness, and 89 parrying. 
And the catching isn't great, but I wouldn't worry about catching, even if it's high rated, they're not consistent. Uh yeah, he's not he's not a bad keeper. Obviously, I'd like him to be taller, but uh he's not bad. And then he has low punt, long throw, and penalty saver. Yeah, this this guy'll be good. Be a good keeper. Obviously, if they have a legend or a booster, uh, uh big time, whatever, I'd just stick with them probably. Uh but if you don't, if you're free to play a player, um this keeper will be good. Like he honestly might be better than uh GP Donner uh Donnarumma and Courtois. Um Ramani. I don't know who he is. Let's find out who he is. So he's got okay passing. So if we go back to Witzel, um, his passing's like, that's actually amazing passing for a centre-back. Uh, this is usually what a good ball-playing centre-back's passing looks like. So he's got decent passing. Um, his defensive stats are, uh, you know, he's got 92 awareness, 90 tackling in-game. Um, decent stats, uh, decent pace. He's similar to Witzel in terms of his speed, and then, but he has the extra acceleration, so he'll feel a lot better. Uh, he's got 82 jumping and 88 physical, on top of 192 centimeters tall. Uh, so yeah, he'll be good. Very high weak foot. Um, I don't know if that'll be too relevant for a centre back, to be honest. You're, like obviously, you're thinking right, it'll be more comfortable passing, but I don't think it'll be too much of a big deal. Uh, in terms of his skills, he's got heading, first time shot, man marking, interception, blocker, slide tackle, and captaincy. Okay, so he's missing acrobatic clearance, one touch pass, and then, you know, want to be uh, picky about a, you know, true pass and weighted pass. Um, he'll probably be decent, it's just the, the, the lack of acrobatic clearance and one touch pass is a bit of a shame. Um, but yeah, he's very tall, so he might he might actually still uh, play well. I don't think one touch pass is an absolute necessity. It's just pretty uh, like your players will still do one touch passes without it. It's just uh, if you want that consistency. Okay, right. um, Mikel Moreno, um, okay, he's looking good so far. Uh, just on an initial look, ninety ball control. Uh, remember plus two on all these, so we'll have ninety two ball control, eighty four tight possession. 90 low pass with 86 curl, uh, sorry, kick and power. Uh, his pass will be good. His finishing, I think 70 finishing on a box to box is enough, usually. Um, yeah, you, usually it's enough. Uh, but I think I'd have a Bellingham with about 70. And it's not enough on him, but that's just because I'm thinking of him in real life, of how good he is, and I'm trying to compare it to that. So it's not going to be like, you know, uh, goal scoring centre mid in real life type of numbers but in terms of a box to box that you're not looking to score with the 70 finishing if you do happen to end up in the box with him uh, it'll, it'll probably be okay especially with that kick and pair and I actually don't know what my Bellingham's kick and pair is uh, let me check real quick because if, if, Be if Bellingham's kick and pair is, uh, is lower that would explain it Okay, Bellingham's kick and power is 84 and he actually has higher finishing. I think his the reason he's not as good is just because he doesn't have uh, acrobatic finishing or long range shooting. So, um, uh, do you know what? I, I did put skills on him, so maybe uh, I need to put those two skills on. But yeah, Marino looks decent, uh, decent defending stats. Um, you know, it's a shame that he's got 77 awareness. If they get him an extra plus one, plus two, it would take him to 80. Uh, so that's a bit annoying. But uh, he looks pretty well rounded. It'll it'll just be a case of what skills he has. Uh, medium weak foot means he won't be too versatile in terms of uh, his ability to switch to play. But his skill his skills will determine how good he is. So he's got heading useless pretty much, rising shot. So he does have acrobatic finishing. So his finishing might even he has the same kick on power, seven less finishing, but he probably will feel better. And he has more curl. Not that that will matter too much for the power shots. Well, it shouldn't matter at all. But uh. Yeah, I'd, I'd honestly say with his acrobatic finishing, he'll feel better than um, uh, Bellingham's finishing. Uh, he's got first-time shot as well. One-touch pass, true passing, outside curler, interception, aerial superiority. Okay, I was looking at that jump and thinking, does he have aerial? Uh, yeah, so he actually, this guy looks good. He wouldn't get into my team, the Raw God squad. But uh, if you're a free-to-play player, this guy might be decent. At least, you know, he'd be decent at least for the week, for the A form. But uh, yeah, he, he doesn't look bad at all. Okay, now we're getting to the big boys. Uh, the Licked. So, the Licked, I've used a lot of cards of the Licked, and he's always been my guy who can be Hullet in the air. He's the only player that, like, if, if my opponent's playing a crossing game with tall players, uh, 
the one centre back I used to always use was the Ligt. Um, Van Dijk I use now. He's but he's the Van Dijk isn't as good as the Ligt in the air. The Ligt is broken in the air. I don't know why he's so good. Actually, I can see why he's one hundred and eighty eight centimeters with eighty seven jump. Like you, like usually Konami do it so that the height, the higher, the taller you go, like you take a little bit off the jumping. But uh, they didn't do it with the Ligt. So um, looking at his stats, good passing. Um. Like I said, the ball that's 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 really good passing for a um a centre back. Good dribbling, so I'll have seventy on the ball control and tight possession. The dribbling stat for a centre back, it could it could be zero and it wouldn't affect how they play because it's all about how you sprint with the ball. You shouldn't be sprinting with your centre back on the ball. So uh, the, the dribbling's very good. Um, in terms of his defensive stats, so his boost is to acceleration as to jumping, defensive awareness, and tackling. All right, I like this card. I think Kadavi are trying to make this guy good. So his defensive awareness will be 98 in game, and it'll be 99 um, with the boost uh, to form, so the plus two boost of the game plan and then the form. Uh, his tackling is very good, very strong. Um, defensive engagement doesn't matter as a centre-back. And then his aggression is a bit low. But another thing, so similar to the height and the jumping, uh, it also works that way with aggression, I find. Um, a taller defender will have lower aggression and a smaller defender will have high aggression. Because if you think of someone like Kante or um, Cannavaro, they're very quick into the tackle, um, and they can they can cover a lot of uh, ground very quickly with their tackle, and that's the that's that's the aggression stat doing that. So uh, that low aggression won't be a major issue. Now most defenders have ninety, um, but honestly, I think I think this guy will still be a beast. Seventy five speeds, he'll be a. Uh, He's he's a slow centre back anyway, so seventy five speed. The uh, that's probably the fastest delict we've had. Uh, sixty eight acceleration in game, pretty good. Eighty one kick and power, so his passing will be decent. And uh, ninety jump, amazing. Eighty nine physical contact, amazing. Uh, balance is low. Um, but high balance is a luxury on a centre back. It's not a uh, necessity. Um, in terms of his skills, so he has. Okay, I was just checking. I didn't see aerial superiority there for a second. So he has aerial superiority, acrobat clearance, fight spear, blocker, interception, man marking, pinpoint crossing. All right, I was talking about this on stream yesterday, and people laughed at me. Pinpoint crossing on your centre backs is a really good skill because you can play a crazy pass into your strikers with your centre backs. Let me see if I can show you. So obviously, there's no defenders on the pitch right now, but if you're in a game and if you watch my streams, you'll notice me do it. You have the ball with your centre back here. You can just drill a uh, early pinpoint cross into your strikers and it'll bypass the midfield. And your strikers usually there to collect it in the feet. So you just press L1 and double tap circle. And then if you have the space, you can make it a stunning shot. Or sorry, a stunning pass too. So um, let's go back to the players. So yeah, the lift looks amazing. Uh, I think I'm going to spin too much for him slash Mbappe. All right, Alvarez, whole player Alvarez. Okay, this guy, okay, this guy looks good. This guy looks very good. Uh, I'm looking at him just as a left mid, though. I don't think I don't think I want to play him anywhere else. Maybe AMF, but I think left mid is this guy's position. Because I've said it twice now, one in the other player of the week video, once in this video. 71 defensive engagement. He will track back. And 78 aggression. I just said it a second ago for Delict. He'll be very fast into the attack. Um, in terms of his dribbling... Uh, for a left mid, that's good dribbling. Um, again, a four four two, that's good dribbling. For a winger slash striker, like left wing, right wing, um, it might it might not be nimble enough. It'd be decent, but not nimble enough. But as left mid, that's fine. Uh, low pass is only seventy six in game. Never mind, seventy nine in game. Oh, and his dribbling has a booster. Okay, so yeah, this guy's gonna be very good. Uh, but he has the eighty eight kick and power plus two to ninety. Uh, this guy's gonna be cra crazy. Eighty three finishing. So it's okay finishing, not extremely high, but that's probably why I'd play him left mid because, uh, you know, he plays striker in real life. You're thinking he's a striker. Card is that, that's if if I showed you that card without showing you the uh who it was, you would think that's a left mid pretty much. Um, good curl, high weak foot, great acceleration, decent speeds, decent physicals, good balance. This guy looks good. Let's see his skills. So in terms of skills, okay, he has soul control and long range curler. His knock on finesses are gonna be great. The kick and power, curl, finish, and combo is gonna be great. And again, play him left mid. He could, he can right foot it, play him on the left, come inside, knock on, finesse, up bins. Um, and the Marseille turn will help you create that angle too. Soul control, long range curler, dip and shot, 
Dipping shot's good if your opponent knows you want to do a knock-on finesse with him. So you're coming in from the left, you want to hit a top right corner. If he moves his keeper in, you can put a dipping shot into the bottom left corner pretty easy. He has rising shot and long range shooting. First time shot, one touch pass, true pass, then pinpoint point crossing. Okay, this guy, yeah, I need to, sp I need to spin this pack. I 100% need to spin this pack. The only thing he's missed is, um, not pinpoint point crossing, sorry, uh, acrobatic finishing. Uh, which is an issue for a left mid because it helps with off balance shots. So if you're coming in from the left, you're trying to beat your man, you're sprinting, it would be handy if he had acrobatic finishing. It's a shame he doesn't have it, but uh, we can't have everything, I guess. But yeah, he looks good. Now, uh, Harry Kane. He's a fox in the box. Okay, this is good because I would like Harry Kane to be a deep line forward. But look at look at his passes. That's he should have really good passes. That's like that's that's that he thinks he's a more of a playmaker than a striker. Like I think Konami need to change how they give him his stats. But uh, Kane looks good so far. Ninety kick and power, ninety eight finishing. 94 awareness, 83 ball control, 78 tight possession, uh, decent physicals, decent aggression. Yeah, looks good. And again, this is uh, what I was saying earlier. The top tier strikers tend to have low curl. Um, it's not much of an issue. Like Romario only has about 70 curl. Um, but uh, oh, he has very high weak foot. Okay, I have to spin this pack. This pack, I think this pack is a must spin, to be honest. Uh, and I've taken 22 minutes to talk about it so far. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing from the players, so uh, yeah, I definitely spin this pack. Uh, let me look at the skills. So he's got heading, not great. I don't think it's necessary. Long range curler, uh, that's good. Um, I don't know if I hundred percent believe it, but a lot of people think that even if you're in the box, having long range curler helps with your curl shots. I'm not sure, but uh, it might. I I I do have a hunch it is the case. Dipping shot, uh, it'll be good. As a fox in the box, though, um. Actually, no, it was a fox box to me, but I think my Van Bastion has it and it's good. Acrobatic finish and a first time shot. That's just telling you this guy's clinical. One touch pass. Good for the link up. Penalty specialist, whatever. Gamesmanship. Okay, gamesmanship on a player like Kane, you know, a big kind of physical striker. That's that's very good. Aerial superiority. He'll be good for, uh, you know, goal kicks, long balls, link up play. But no true passing. Like, Come on, Konami. Like he, that's that's like what he's best at, pretty much. Obviously, he's best at goals, but you know what I mean. Like he, like he does like to pass a lot. I think that's a bit annoying. But even with that, I think his uh, Carlos will be good. All right, and this is probably the guy you're most interested in, Kylian Mbappe. So we don't think we've had an Mbappe in a while, man. We used to get them every second week, but I don't think we've had them in a while. Okay. Um. So he'll have ninety four speed, ninety three acceleration, eighty kick compare, eighty four balance, ninety three finishing, seventy five curl, eighty nine ball control, ninety two dribbling, eighty seven tight possession, seventy physical contact. Okay, I you know what, this looks like a Showtime Mbappe. Let me let me uh, pull up my Showtime Mbappe. Just looks like my Showtime. So yeah, my it's it kind of similar to my Showtime. So it has slightly less. So the player of the week will have slightly less uh, dribbling, um, like literally one point though. Uh, but it does have more finishing, and it does have less. Oh, it has less speed. Okay, it has a little bit more physical, but quite a bit less speed. So I don't think uh, that's a good um trade off. Um. I don't know, uh, the balance, let me pull up on eFootball Hub, eFootball Database, the um, player of the week, Mbappe. Okay, it doesn't seem to be on uh, eFootball Database at the moment, but uh, we'll go back and look at it. Um, yeah, it, it seems, I don't know, it, it seems similar to the Showtime, but the Showtime is definitely better just because you can put the skills on. Um, I'll have a look at the skills. If the skills... Uh, if he has the necessary skills, if you watch my training guide video, you, you'll know what skill I'm looking for. Uh, I don't think he starts with it usually, so I don't think he'll have it. Um, no, he doesn't have it. So if I was looking for true passing. He doesn't have true passing. Um, he does have acrobatic finishing, long-range curler, double-touch, scissors, feint, chop turn, first-time shot, Rabona, games, gamesmanship. I don't know if he usually has gamesmanship. Okay, look, he'll, he'll, he'll still be very good. Uh, in terms of is he better than my Showtime? Um, I don't think so. Uh, just because of the skills you can put on him. 
But um, is he better than the free France Mbappe? Uh, do you remember the World Cup one with the good dribbling? Honestly, he better stats, but it's the skills are very important. The ability to put skills on. So I'm not sure. Like, look, if you don't have Mbappe, this it'll be. If my if my Showtime Mbappe is like a ninety five. Rate it's not overall, but yeah, you know, my personal rating. This one would be ninety three. Like it's very very similar, uh. But I don't think it's worth the upgrade. All right, so we'll um we'll spin now and see who we get. So I think I'm looking for Delict and Alvarez. All right, Marino, I was gassing you up. Let's see who else. The pie. Yeah, this 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 come on, this is a good player of the week and I'm getting the ones that are okay. I want the I want the great ones. But uh this this pack is definitely you should spin this pack because even if you get a Depay or Moreno uh it's uh you know it's not terrible. And then Raya, like I don't I don't need him. I've got Czech, the best keeper in the game. Uh but he is a good keeper. He might be good for the uh I was gonna say he might be good for the Premier League events, but Czech is at Chelsea in the game, so it's not gonna matter. And then last but not least, Harry Kane. Okay, so I might put a Harry Kane review up, but I also want to review the new Inzaghi pack. Um, so I, uh, this one. So I don't, I don't know if I'll have uh, space to play both of them. But uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. So um, if you have any ideas for videos you want me to do, I'm going to do, uh, I have a few ideas. So uh, don't worry, I just need to find time to do them. But uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.